And they're out, and Bolt gets a really good start, but he is passed by Powell, and Asafa Powell trying to stave off Usain Bolt, and Powell looks like he's gonna win this. Bolt gives it one final push, and it looks like Asafa Powell has beaten Bolt. Wow, and you know what? Asafa Powell got a start that, that, that track and field sprinters dream of when they're sleeping the night before a race. Take a look at Osafa Powell getting out of the blocks. As he knows, Jamaica knows, they've got a one-two punch going to Beijing. Now let's take a look back. Come on, guys, give us the replay. A 9-8-8 <laughs> unofficially for Asafa Pal, who beats his countrymen. Look at that start. Take a look at the start. Now, you know that Usain Bolt at 6'5 is not going to get out as quick as Pal, but right here, Bolt is starting to close, and he realizes, I'm not going to catch him, and he just leans up. But, you know, you wonder if he would have run a little bit harder. Yeah. Might he have caught him? But right here, that's Pal on the left. Bolt on the right. Remember, six foot five on the right side of your screen is just not going to have the explosion of the shorter Powell. But right here, take a look at how focused Powell was towards the end of the race. There was no tightening up there. But again, going into the Olympic Games, this is a one-off race. There's four rounds at the Olympic Games, and that's what changes things. But a big confidence builder for Asafa Powell.